Guy, Mallory, is that you? Nunda juma niza kuwezi. And this man snapped. I call it shit. By the way, ikuapi simu yangu. Ah ah, ikuapi simu yako. Hey hey hey. Aye, censored. Sauti soli ya diare ya kume. It took him like 10 seconds Juadi alishuka na wao na karudi. I don't know. Do you get the sense of it? Mimi akili yangu iko mbali. Nisimame ama niache skinny girls kwanza wa shine. <laughs> you have to see me. You you'll miss me. If I go na, you'll miss me na. I don't want you to miss me. Sinema zetu ni telenovela. I can see. Kwanza for my baby girls. Yeah. I just point her. Ah, pu ah, point! What is that? Ah, I just put her link in there. I couldn't believe it. Well, relax. I'm just teasing. 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 Consistency and kuwa kunywa, kuwa kunywa. Yeah. Today I am wearing a dress from my friend. Eh? I'm telling you guys, look for good friends. Eh? My friend gifted me this dress. My friend, she's called Habiba. <laughs> oh, those are the shoes. Okay, the shoes I bought from her shop. Maybe you guys should go look at her shop. Anoza akona Instagram page. She sells amazing things. Kwanza for my baby girls. Yeah. I just put her. What is that? Uh, I just put her link in the link in the description box. So today we are gonna do a story time. You better buckle up, eh? You better buckle up for this one. It's supposed to get bumpy. It's about to get the oh what? Eh? How? Now many want to Nairobi see how my new karibu simu yangu yende. My phone, baby girl, wani be mimi. So anyway, make sure you like, subscribe, share, comment. Keep those comments coming. Me, I love when you see comments. And then when you comment shit, I block you. Energy is giving pure vibes. Mimi huwezi kuja kwa comment section yangu you comment badly and you still stay there. It's either I will pin you to embarrass you or I will block you. I have to choose for you your fate. You don't have to choose for yourself, you see. So anyway guys, make sure you comment. Turn on notifications so that you can get not turn on the post notif hey hey turn on ni turn on the bell so that you get the notification every time I post and I am consistent. Sinema be okay ni akunyo kwa kunywa ni sima be amani ache skinny girls kwanza wa shine. Anyway guys, let's just get into the video because we may continue and it's our boat too. That's the jewel. So the video, so guys, it was on a fateful. When was it, baby? It was on a Thursday, <clears throat> just before I started my exam. So me and my friend, we have me, Manyala, Abshira, and Habiba. We have me, 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 Abshira, and Habiba. So guys, this day, we decided, the class is Lisha, my family. So me, there's a unit that we do on Thursday. Okay, was it on Thursday or Wednesday? I don't know. But there's a unit I don't surely do. Oh yeah, it was on a Friday. Okay, no, honestly, I can't remember the day. But point is, your sequel. It was me and Habiba. To come on, eh, to call Anja. That morning I had not eaten breakfast. So I'm like, eh, babe, sit on it, but let me eat cool, eh, something. And I took a chomp, flan, and in a show. To call cool, chapo, chapo, and beans, and then how she ate and then go. Kido kido go to na jisho aje ah eh tuko tuko zileza yeah next week's exam but what if we just go have fun somewhere and look at prizes of gowns because she's having a wedding very soon I'm like yo twende 
So kwanza tukapitia face fab. I guess you guys mnajua face fab. Akaenda akauliza nini nini you know the makeup and the preparations and everything. Tukapanda gari tukaenda api tukaenda pumwani. Reaching there we went. We were supposed to go and look at gowns. There's a shop that she knows. So on our way tukafika. <laughs> we are so dumb. We called after to mefika tulifika and then this is what tunapigia and then they are like no we are not there tumeenda we are attending a wedding i'm like we are like oh okay sawa and then we are like what to do mind you tumetoka kula like two hours ago cuz that time it was around 2 1:30 habiba calls her best friend she's like hey come twende mpambe mpambe si mnajua twende mpambe tule wali sijua watu wote tuchane majani you know what i mean you know what i mean yeah Tukaenda tukae na mpambe tukakula. Eh! Tukakula mchele biryani. That, that food was slapping. Eh! Niko tunisikiko kwa vein. Inaenda kwa nerves. Inarudi vitena. Inagonga tumbo. Inarudi kwa kichwa inagonga mblagata. Ah! Don't play with biryani. Tukakula. So me I'm there. Nimeshiba. Chakula ni tamu. I cannot stop eating. It's how sweet it is. Nimeka nimekula. I'm like Abeba, mimi nimeshiba. Okay, na bestie yake na the best friend. They're like, "Ah, wewe wacha kujifanya kula, tunaje vile unakulanga, kula." Niko na kai sawa. Tukakula and then we order drinks afterwards. So mimi nikakunywa mango juice, akakunywa alikunywa nini baby? Watermelon something, eh? And then the friend ate a uh, drink a mocktail ama ni cocktail, cocktail. Now, this is where the story comes in. Back, so to Kapanda, you know, there's this uh, route you can use like from Pande, from Nopumwani, and then directly to Kaiole Junction, I think, and then now from Kaiole Junction, not Kaiole Junction, Junction. Okay, I don't know, I just know it's about those roads, and then so, so you branch, you know, from there to shooters. Yeah, me, I'm like, me, don't go back to town alone, to any tuna nini, to branch to Pokote. So to get here and we went. <laughs> Tukiwa kwa gari we are there we are seated. So na just look actually we were among the first people to enter the car. It was like this big big buses. So I'm there nime over eat. Honestly, kwa ngeto kweli I had over eaten. So niko hapo nimesema, "Eh, hey, let me just open my belt because I had a jeans." Ni brief. So where I had sat there was no window. Then her people was like, "Eh, hey, Kate, so when the pale ukaya pombele where there is a window and then you will open." you'll get enough fresh air and all that i'm like wow by the way good thinking awa kaka hapa kwa conductor cuz the conductor is standing and asking people to oh yeah 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 turn it turn it you want to end when 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 see nikaka 2 minutes wa baba wawili wakaingia mind you me didn't see them i just saw one of them they were old walikuwa wazee cuz they even had i think they were muslims or i don't know but walikuwa na the beards this um white white beards this is a wuze they enter and they sit so apparently misi kwa ni melodu na jaza akili yangu sa hiyo iko kwa tumbo and they have overeaten and they are uncomfortable because you know when you overeat na uko kwa confined place ama a place and you always like just wow you see you just have to like be so private about it be cautious so and i'm like mimi tu siku uko hata nimetoa gum ni chew at least nianze kusikia because i was feeling nausea Three minutes nasikia mtu ah nasikia conductor amesema hey, kwa nilo nimebeba wagonjwa mimi eh, nataka nasema wewe mimi si mgonjwa bana mimi ni kushiba na kemeo spirit ya ugonjwa ako oh ni hao wawili basi i'm like wawili na angalia nyuma i see a pregnant woman and then uko sasa uko behind there's a now the man now the men who had entered moja alikuwa meka so you know in a bus they are like his side ni three seater and then that side is two seater so huyo huyo mgonjwa alikuwa meka kwa three seater Uyo mzuri sasa huyu mimi si mgonjwa the healthy one alikuwa ameka kwa 2 sita. Kidogo sasa iko ndakta ametoka kusema wao ni wagonjwa mimi amtani ndio na waona I'm like eh okay sawa. Kidogo kidogo no people start jarring kwa gari. Not like kabisa but like one by one cause tumefika where there is the main stage and all that. 2 minutes nasikia mtu puking sound. Ha ha I'm like eh radars what's the radars mna puke kwa gari. Kono audacity. <laughs> kidogo tunaona mbaba no the other thief they were to remember keep that in mind ule watu sita na ule wa 3 sita huyo watu sita alikuwa ameka peke yake huyo wa 3 sita alikuwa ameka mna kijana 
he was not young he was not old he was there mid 30s you may can tell ages akanza uso saw to sita akambia huyu the middle man the middle aged man hey nani kama amekutapikia so so just saw the attention of the gari inenda to them to the scene of the crime at the scene of the crime was isha kwa crime to the scene hey kidogo tunaona baba amesimama so so we were sitting but don't make these sounds this retching sounds this oh oh nini 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 wakamoa simame I don't know what happened. It all happened so fast. Me I'm just sitting there. I see the man wanashuka wakiwa watatu. Ndio so mwingine anarudi. Haja load. So there's another woman. So nilikwambia watu wameshaanza kuingia gari. Akole dakamwambia, "Ni unajua wanaweza kuwa wezi?" And this man snapped. Akole, "Shit. By the way, iko wapi simu yangu?" Ah ah. Iko wapi simu yako? Ndio kaambiwa, "Eh basi wamekubebea." Ujua aja kutapikia. Ndio mabaka lord. You see so it took him like 10 seconds Juadi alishuka na wao na akarudi. I don't know. Do you get the sense of it? Mimi akili yangu iko mbali, mimi na over it, nime over it, nime niko kwa window, I feel like nausea, I feel like puking. He? Kumbe msali shaibi wa simu. Sasa ndio sasa gari inaanza kuja, inaanza kuja, inaanza kuja. He? kijana amekapo amelod akusema kai lakini hii simu tija kawa one month nimenunua this month ikianza that was on uh, july yeah i mean actually it was this month actually ikianza ndio alisema alikuwa na buy kai mimi i'm like shit wacha tani mimi ni load niangalie simu yangu nafungua na eh thank god my phone is there yo sasa habiba and the best friend start talking walikuwa wanatuchungulia wanatuchungulia wanaangalia niko like haya pia walikuwa na kuangalia kusema eh alafu and then you people ukiona mtu ndika anataka kuibiwa sema like i know it may be threatening but unaweza saidia mtu sana 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 maybe alikuwa na important documents alikuwa anafanya kitu important at least you say now in the process kibaba kingine kikasema kwa nyuma hata nilikuwa nimewasikia wakisema rada chafu i'm like bro Sunge mnag tu amu mwambie brother kuchoka hapa kando yangu. It would have made sense that both of you could have been careful but you just had to wait and shine. Anyway, yeah. So, hello da colleague. Oh god, yo simu nini nini. So na sagari na ja watu wanapata commotion kwa gari wanauliza ni nini. Sasa ndio kila mtu anaanza kuambia story, kulikuwa hapa na wezi wanachofanya wanatapika. So, they came this old woman she was from Tanzania. Now sasa I knew she was from Tanzania after she told me. Akuja I see her eyes are red. Eh msiko nataka kumwangalisha because I'm also skeptical. I mean, 3 minutes ago mtu ametoka kuibia simu. How am I supposed to make a good conversation with an old woman? As in I'm sorry but nitakuwa too skeptical. Ah, akaniuliza ni nini mbaya? Ah, so I had to tell her but eh hey, niko hapa nime clutch on my bag like it has my life on it. And then I tell her the story she's like, "Mimi mwanangu pia mimi nimetoka kuibiwa simu sai sai tu nimemaliza kulia." So apparently for her ati there's a woman who came ako na watoto wawili wanalia wanalia oh mama anakuja na kuambia eh hey, nisaidie simu i call okay my kids are so hungry because you're very empathetic and you like seeing the kids crying so tambea obviously hata mimi nitambea kuongea tu kweli unajua these people excuse me wanao wamejua tricks they come with old infants not old young infants ama watoto wadogo mwenye analia lia so you'll be empathetic uta uta sympathize na ukwe guy i'm sorry shika nini hmm unajua unapea mzee simu yako sasa akaniambia ati ati akampea but i don't know this woman i don't know sorry but she didn't make sense to me ati nikampea simu alafu mimi nataka kuangalia huko kuna tamati kuangalia huko unapea mtu simu yako i would fix my eyes upon you i would gaze at you hata si gaze ati natani hivi nafanya hivi napata alishaenda hata sioni nini ati naenda kupiga simu ishazimwa i'm like okay i'm sorry but this is nairobi she was like she had traveled from tanzania hey. so the whole ride it was it was just story story tu kwa gari sasa tukashuka siju kunitwaje habiba alikwambia niambie jina but i can remember <laughs> tukashuka tukaenda tukapandia gari ni raunda i think it's raunda yeah, i think it's raunda tukapanda gari so that we had occupied sit za hapo mbele so huko kwa matatu ito za matatu tukasema eh sasa tukai mbele we wacha tukai nyuma kwenye tutona drama iki happen tukio huko nyuma tukaenda tukao tukipea the three sets tukakaa sasa ni lile and you know her vibe is the type she's not scared to talk 
Unaona ati wewe unakaa kwa gari ya timu ta kisha tunasikia ambara stamu una cringe. No! Cringe for who? Sasa tukapo tunaongea story bado. Watu wanatuangalia. Sasa nile tukapita na matatu. Tukapita place ya service. <laughs> ah! This is have audacity like They don't have audacity I mean. Akasema ati eh na mimi sipendi gari inapitia service. Si kama tuna nyuma nyuto ni mani guy. Contact value wa hai tu. I'm like miss you okay? I'm not with them. I was feeling nilikuwa nilikuwa ni check ni share. At the same time, akipole habiba I was cringing but ni mimi miss Jesus mimi nimezoea mtu akinge. Una Jesus KBS zetu hata zinanga ngoma. So unaingia mnaangalia na mnalala unaamka uko hapa nini? 7 hours leta uko bado uko kwa gari uko on your journey way back home. So mko tu mmenyamaza tu. Sasa tukapita mali kwa bam. <laughs> tukarusha. Do you know when you're in the back seats of a matatu, you'll jump, you know. Sasa ile tukarushwa, tukarusha juu. Habiba <laughs> kama ebe dele umebeba watu si gunia maiti. <laughs> Me I saw Nilisha hadi watu kana. Alafu na jamii nikicheka, nile tu I'll attract attention. I don't know. I have an ugly laugh. So yeah, tukaenda tukafika home. Tukapita kwa shop Habiba and then we helped her arrange me and her best friend. Ni 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 ikafika masaa tukaenda home. Well, so in conclusion guys, be careful. There are vomiting thieves out here. Kuna vomiting thieves. Be careful when I tell you when you ukiingia kwa gari just clutch at your bag. Clutch at your purse. Kama umekasimu hapa kwa koti clutch at it because you never know. Alafu mimi nashukuru hiyo mtu alipulizi wa dawa. Cuz there's no utafuta mtu out of nowhere. That's skeptical. So guys be careful. Mimi sita sema wako wapi hao waweze specifically stack tena ni kutwe when you dress. Just be careful wherever you go. Mkipandizo magari, mkipandizo matatu mkwetu very careful. Yeah. That was my story time. Na jamu me enjoy, I know. Cuz I'll is bring fire content. You've learned something. You've learned something. When you seem to akibot like father nisema, ama just nudge him, jifanye unamjua bana. Just make a signal. Si lazima you be so obvious about it, but just help. Be your brother's keeper, Bana. Yeah? Be your brother's keeper, yeah. So anyway, guys, that was it November for my video. I'll see you in the next video. I don't know when I'll post because I don't have any exams. But I'll try to be as consistent as possible because I know you guys, you have to see me. You, you'll miss me. If I go now, you'll miss me now. I don't want you to miss me. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Ciao. It's giving bad bitch. Never ever play me like I'm average. It's giving rich. It's giving bad bitch. Never ever play me like I'm average. It's giving rich.